In our previous episodes, we caught the ferry from Bournemouth across to Cherbourg and then cycled 1,500 kilometres to Malouz. In this episode, we follow the Rhine River from Malouz to Dusseldorf, following the Euro Valley 15 route. Welcome to day 41 of our cycle touring through Europe. Today, we're going to Germany. So just leaving the campground in Malouz, uh, probably pronounced Melhouse if you're going to say it in English. Another beautiful day, it might get hot today, it feels pretty warm already. Pank over the other side the canal, a remnant of the Second World War. Like on the 4th of November 1944 they were positioned here and they fought here until the 3rd of December when they finally liberated the area. the old bridge. So we just crossed over that bridge and now we're off the Eurovelo 6 route and now we're fishing on the Eurovelo 15 route, EV15, which will take us all the way to Rotterdam along the Rhine River and I think you can go either side so we're gonna see we want to go on the other side because it looks like it might be nicer and I want to go to Germany because the other side of the Rhine is Germany. There are a network of long distance cycle routes that crisscross the whole of Europe and these are known as Eurovelo routes. I'll put a link in the description. getting closer to Germany we're finding the styles of the buildings are changing it's starting to look different well we're 11 days now without having had a rest day 11 days straight cycling had a lot of rest days early on I think it's really important to have a rest day once a week just to rest everything and recover so we probably need to find somewhere tonight for a couple of nights we'll see if we can find somewhere nice So the Rhine River separates France from Germany and we're riding on the France side at the moment which comes inland a bit because we've got to find a place to cross it to get up to the other side. The uh, EV15 actually goes on both sides. I think we're just about to cross into Germany. Got to go over a river and then another river and we'll be there. That's not the Rhine, it's another river. I'm not sure which one. Now it's happening. We're going to Germany. Whoop, whoop. Now we're going over the Rhine River. Welcome to Deutschland. We're here. We made it. It's not quite the welcome to Germany we were expecting. We just met a couple of cycle tourists who are going north as well and they said the Rhine is closed on the German side going north. They've just done a big 20 kilometer detour and they're having to backtrack and go up the French side. So it sounds like we might have to go back onto the French side. It was fun while it lasted Germany, actually it wasn't much fun. We're heading back to France now. I feel like I've been here before with the view this seen you And every time that you walk through Probably another 10 Ks or so to camping and we're more than ready to stop for the day. 55 kilometers so far today, so it'll be over 60, 65 or so by the time we get there. Welcome to day 42. Bit of a cooler day today. We're just leaving our lovely camp spot in. I'm going to put the lame on the screen. And we just realized there's a neat little hexagonal looking town near here. So we're going to go and have a look and see if we can get our drone up and get a closer look. So 
were just about to enter the city. It was a walled city. It was supposed to protect France from the Roman Empire. So protecting a town is a series of walls and moats. Today we're heading to the town of Colmar. It's not on the route, but it looked pretty in the pictures. So I thought we'll go and have a look. It's about 17 kilometers from where we camped inland. And then we'll do about the same again to get back on the route tomorrow. We're gonna spend two days there, because we need a rest. We booked the hotel because the camping ground was full. If you'd like to see our tour of the town of Colmar, I'll put a link in the description below. Welcome to day 44 of our cycle trip through Europe. We just left a beautiful little scenic little town of Colmar where we had a rest day. Heading out of town this morning that was very noisy with all the traffic. It's a great thing about France, quite often in the towns they have parking underneath so there's not a lot of traffic in the towns itself. When you get to leave, it really takes you by surprise. But today we're heading towards Strasbourg. Oh, it's great having a rest there in a nice hotel, but man, it's good to be back on the bikes again. Feel nice and refreshed, and we've got some supplies. We'd had a bit of trouble finding camping gas with the camping stove. We've got it's a screw on, but they don't. It's not the standard in France. It's a they have more of a bayonet type system, so we're having trouble finding screw on. We're almost out of gas. Thankfully, we found a place in town that has the screw ons, so we're all piled up with new gas too, so we can cook again. Yay! It's 72 kilometers from Colmar to Strasbourg. I'm not sure if we're gonna stay there or not. We might stay at a campground a little bit before there, or we might go all the way. But if we go into Strasbourg, we'll probably stay in a hotel again. We're following a canal path now all the way to Strasbourg. It's just a light gravel path. It's quite pleasant to cycle along. Even though we're still in France, a lot of the names of the towns here have German names. That's because it was once Germany. They keep swapping borders. Boisenbiesen back there, that's a cool name. And Strasbourg, where we're going today. It's actually a bit nicer on the side, but different. The water is so clear in this canal. You can see down to the, right down to the bottom and look at all the fishes. Like the canal levels higher than we are. It's very hot. It's nice to have a bit of shade. We're heading into Strasbourg. Don't know where we're staying yet. Back going over the Rhine again. Back into Germany. Trying to find some camping. Done 75 kilometers today. We're exhausted, so let's hope there's space at the camping. We were gonna stay in Strasbourg, but the noise of all the traffic that just got to us, we just did, well, had to get out. From now on, we're avoiding cities at all costs. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> just like that, over the bridge. Here we are. Street signs are different. Everyone's speaking a different language. How cool to be living on a border town like this. We can say, oh, let's go to Germany for breakfast. Oh, and then we'll go to France for lunch. How much fun would that be? Welcome to day 45. We're just leaving the very busy campground in Cal. We're still in Germany, but I think we're going back to France today. Weird. So, come along, it'll be fun. So as I said earlier, we're in Germany and everything's changed. The language has changed, the food has changed, the road signs have changed. And the other thing is the supermarkets have changed. That's what you find when you come to a foreign country. What are the supermarkets called? They don't have a new world, a Coles, a Tesco's. Like in France, it's a Carrefour, Casino. But here, we have no idea. We found a place called Muller, or Müller, and that had just about everything you could need in it. So that was lucky. So I have to remember that name. It's all the things you gotta get used to when you go to a new country.
gonna follow the Rhine leaving Cal this morning and then we're gonna cross back over into France because that's where all the camping grounds are. It's our first time cycling along the Rhine. A different view anyway it's a bit of a change from canals big wide river so there's the town way back there it's that bridge that we crossed over to get to Germany the other side is France and those buildings in the background are Strasbourg to the point where the choice is a main road or a gravel pit so we've chosen the gravel pit but I don't know Mike seems to know where he's going so I think we're back on the route the sign was pointing both ways so along here the, the route's actually trying to send us along the road there's a lot of trucks barreling along those roads, but the Garmin is sending us this way. So it's gravel, but it's a nicer view I think too. I think possibly this bridge takes us back into France. Now we're going back to France. There's a bridge there with all the busy traffic going over. I would think we might be way across down here, across the dams. Come back to France with us. Here we go, here's a little footbridge or cycle bridge to get across without having to go on that main road. Welcome to France. It's only for today, back in Germany tomorrow. Just in a little town called Munchausen and it's just starting to rain and we're just gonna go find camping which is about a kilometer from here. Welcome to day 46 of our cycle tour. This will be our last day in France as we cross into Germany today. Nice start today and it's going to be another hot one, another 35 degrees I think today. Back alongside the Rhine. So it's quite a pleasant temperature at the moment. So we're trying to push out a few kilometers before it gets too hot. We're currently just cruising along about 20 kilometers per hour. And it, it feels good. It feels good this morning. So the Eurovelo 15 basically follows the Rhine up to Rotterdam, but it doesn't actually follow the Rhine, if you know what I mean. It's not always next to the Rhine. It'll go inland and outland. And I think there's choices to go on either side as well, but we don't really know which side to go on. So we're just, we're on the left at the moment heading north. So the route's taking us inland for a bit, away from the river. We lost the signs, but luckily Mike ended up paying for the route online. He managed to find it. At least we've got a bit of a clue where we're going. Ah, somewhere along the line, we've just crossed into Germany. We don't know where. Oh well. Welcome to Germany. So that's it, back in Germany for the third time on this trip. And just like that, no longer bonjouring crowd. We've got the helloing crowd. Even the cows look different here. Not entirely sure where we are, but we're not far from Karlsruhe.
been so hot today, high 30s, and then we find this camping ground right on the path. <laughs> They've got a big swimming pool, and we've just been for a swim to cool off. Look at this. That's what they do with the gravel pits. They take the gravel out and they make a lake. That's a good idea. Nice and cool. And there's our tent right there. Welcome to day 47. We're just leaving a lovely spot by the lake. It was perfect last night. We arrived hot and bothered and had a swim. Great night's sleep too. Today we're heading further along the Rhine, the Eurovelo 15 cycle path heading north. So today looks pretty much like yesterday did, except we got a bit more shade because it's early, but it's a nice cycle path. The 747's a bit low. I don't think we'll be flying with them. So if you're coming to Speyer and you're into planes, there's this neat museum here. And it's got all these old planes. There's a 747 over there. There's an Antonov just there. Oh, it looks, just looks really cool. Keep cruising till we hit the morning. It wasn't much camping on the route today. There was some after about 35 k's from where we camped. And honestly, had I known that airplane museum was there, we would have gone and spent half a day there and just done the 35 k's. But because it's a Friday night, we had, went ahead and booked a hotel about 75 kilometers away. Kind of committed to getting there now, which is something we don't normally want to do, but there's nothing worse than the end of the day. We've had a few incidences where we're tired, hot, bothered, and cannot find anywhere to stay, so. Pick me up like you're my aeroplane. Lots of little swimming beaches along here by the lake. Rules to break, rules to break. Uh. We're lost. We lost the signs and we were following them and then they disappeared. Now we're way off track. So Mike's just trying to figure out where we're going. We've come away further from it. Not sure how, but we've gotten terribly lost. We come hurtling along here, alongside the railway in the wrong direction. About 10 k's, we're hooning along. And we've got to turn around and go all the way back. Already got a long day ahead of us. Beautiful tailwind. <laughs> we should have known we didn't have the headwind that something was wrong. Well, I think we're going the right way now. About another 30 k's to go on top of the 60 we've already done. Whoa, it's going to be like 90 plus k's today. Well, this is pretty neat. Check this out. It's going over a massive bridge going over the Rhine to the other side, which is still Germany. So because we've booked and paid for this hotel, we're really under pressure to get there, which is why we don't really like booking ahead. But it turns out Worms back there was a 72 kilometer mark. That would have been a good, good place to stop. Apparently as we're heading into it, a girl says, don't go without seeing Worms. It's amazing we left without seeing Worms. What we thought was gonna be a 70 kilometer day has actually turned into a 100 kilometer day by the time we get there. Because by the time you go on the Eurovelo route, it's not a direct line like the roads would take you. So it's taking you all around the place. So that's a lesson learned for next time. We've just clocked over 81 kilometers. We did 80 the other day. It was our biggest day yet. So, so far, this is our biggest day. nuclear power station two reactors learnt that from mike those domed things are reactors and the cooling towers are the tall chimney things i think we're almost there it'll be 100 kilometers for the day we're not doing this again what happened was we got to a point where the sign said six kilometers to the town this way or four kilometers this way so of course we're going to take the four kilometer route and it sent us into a paddock you know they, they really should provide that sort of information at the sign to make you make a decision so anyway we ended up backtracking through the paddock after having gone quite some distance before we decided we were in a paddock and we probably shouldn't be and took the six kilometer route sign which not a good day <laughs> it's hard work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome to day 48 of our cycle tour. Late start today, it's almost 12. We stayed in that hotel over there and we've just been into town to get some supplies. We're gonna catch a ferry this morning, first thing. I forgot to film us coming on the ferry, but we're on it now. And it's just going over the other side of the Rhine. Pretty flash boat. Gonna go up the front and have a look. I think we're just going over there. Was a bit of fun, something a little bit different. So cycling over a bridge, I guess, cost us two dollars fifty each or two euros fifty each. Straight across there is a hotel we stayed at last night. But Jesus is a busy river. All the boats going up and down. It's another day, pretty much like any other day. Path, fields, gravel pit, headwind. I don't know, but we've certainly chosen the wrong way for the amount of headwinds we're getting seeing all these mussels on the path so there must be mussels in the river I'm just wondering if the seagulls or crows or something probably no seagulls here the crows are grabbing them and dropping them from a height up to break them open they're all over the path so after yesterday's 101 kilometers massive effort we're doing a shorter day today So we're past the six week mark now and that's when we usually find you start getting a bit weary. Not that we're getting weary, it's just becoming a little bit of hard work. We like camping and there hasn't been a great deal of camping along this route and it forces us to go to hotels and we don't really like staying in hotels. For one, they're quite expensive and two, it's just not as nice as camping. Looks like we're catching another ferry. Five euros a time, this is going to be quite an expensive day if we have to keep doing this. So I've got a new navigation system now. It's not a compass, it's not the sun, it's not Google, it's the headwind. If we've got a headwind, we know we're going the right way because this whole trip we've had a headwind. And as soon as we get a tailwind, something's wrong. We need to be very, very suspicious. Even the sunflowers think it's too hot to look at the sun today. They've all turned their heads and they know, go away, it's hot. Give me some rain, give me some water. Welcome to day 49 of our cycle tour. Had a lovely night here, just across the river from Mainz. Sat really well. We even thought about staying another day. But then we just wanted to get out on our bikes and ride. We're just gonna go have a little look in the town of Mainz and then be on our way. where we camped down there. We didn't realize we were so close to the city when we camped. It's a little bit by the, like the South Bank in London. Look at these old buildings. Notice everything in Germany is shut on Sundays, so we might have to go out for lunch today. We got nothing. Amazing day. We've just been so lucky with the weather, even though it's been hot. It's definitely been cold and wet, that's for sure. Lots of planes flying into Frankfurt. Not too far away from here. Just cycling across this bridge, we saw a castle, our first German castle, out over there.
friends who have just been past the town of Bingham and we're just trying to find a camping spot but they're all very busy, all very full, no shade and quite expensive. So hot. Some camping coming up here, but I bet it'll be busy. Mm -hmm. Nice little campsite here, right by the river. Might be putting up our tent, trying to. <laughs> the ground's really hard, and we don't have a mallet, so he's found a rock. Welcome to day 51 of our cycle tour. Just um, leaving our lovely little campsite. We had a rest day on the banks of the Rhine. A lovely day there, just sitting the, watching the boats go up and down. Gentle breeze trying to call us off in the 36 degree heat. Had a look at the town of Bacharach, just going past now. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Big castle on the hill. actually a record morning for us it's, we're away from camp by 7 30. it's unheard of but it's going to be 38 degrees today and we do not want to be cycling that heat again man oh look at the trains flash green trains here another castle up there castles all the way along this little stretch we're doing on either side of the river And if you're riding along here on this side of the river thinking, oh, I want to go over there and see that castle and those houses over there, I want to go over there. But I can't, there's no bridge. But it doesn't matter because there's a boat. A little ferry will come and pick you up and take you across. But I think we're going to stay on this cycle. It's in the sun for now. Keep on seeing these little fairy tale castles up in the hill. Oh, beautiful. Just cycling past the town of Oberwassen with the neat castle on the hill and more wonky chocolate ribbled houses up here. So in the river here we can see the seven virgins and they are said to have lured sailors to their death. The rocks can only be seen when the river is at low, so we're seen here. Well, this is pleasant. Germany is beautiful. Lots of trains. Today we're heading to Koblenz. It's a 50k from where we camped. And we're hoping to get an air-conditioned hotel. I booked something on the phone last night, but I don't know. They didn't take any money or anything, so hopefully it's okay. I couldn't book it online. beautiful today. I think the rest day has done a lot for us. We feel a lot better and an early start a lot cooler. So much chocolate ripple. 
different colors, kind of more, maybe more like a strawberry ripple. Now that's what I call a castle. Just cycling along and Mike's going, Joe, Joe, look. And I'm looking, what, what, what? Can't see what. And he goes up there and look. That's impressive. And you nearly missed it. <laughs> looking the wrong way. This is just the best day ever. We're just coming into the town of Koblenz and it's where the Rhine joins the Moselle River. We're just coming up to the um, confluence of the Rhine and the Moselle. So, Moselle that way, Rhine that way. We had a nice rest day in the town of Koblenz. If you'd like to see that video where we look around the town, I'll put a link in the description below. Welcome to day 53 of our cycle trip. We've just left the town of Koblenz where we had a rest day and we're just heading on. I think we're going to do a fairly short day today. So leaving Koblenz, we're just winding through little quiet streets with houses. Busy along the river this morning, much cooler today. It was about 22 when we left the hotel. Still feels warm though, it's quite humid. I'm pretty much keeping up with that boat. We're going about the same pace, which is about 20 kilometers an hour. Just over on the opposite bank, the watchtower. There's several along here, along this part of the river. They actually mark the edge of the Roman Empire. Well, Roman Empire over there, not over here. Cycling past the town of Sons A, I'll put a thingy down. Old city walls there. Another 20 k's to where we have planned to camp. We'll see what we feel like when we get there. We might want to keep going. Little town is called Endermark and there's a ferry which takes you across the other side to see a freshwater geyser. We're not going to do that though, there's a big queue for the ferry. It's a nice place though, It'd be a nice place to stop and spend a few days. See the main road up there, way up there and that bridge. Well here we have an example of a manual crane. No steam engines, no electric engines, all manually operated. Up above the train and the road and the river. So there's a road and then a cycle track and then a train and then a road and then the river. So we've just got to the section where there's a, it used to be a little bike bridge that goes across the R River was, but it got washed out in storms in 2019. And they've got a little diversion in for us, just showing it here. Yeah, so the sign up here is telling us what to do. So that's good. We're a little bit worried about the section. We've been warned about it. This is a site of the only bridge on the Rhine that was intact as the Allies came through in 1945. 
The Germans tr had made several attempts to blow it up but were unsuccessful. The Allies used it and got a bridgehead over the other side and then the bridge collapsed 10 days afterwards. Just left Remagen, now we're heading towards the town of Bonn. We're just looking for somewhere to camp really. We're actually not that far from Cologne. Probably be in Cologne tomorrow. Cologne, spelled Koln, K-O-L-N. Rain up ahead. I've seen the cyclists coming the other way, wearing their raincoats, so we've got ours out ready. So we snubbed all the camping grounds back there because it started to rain and it was still quite early. The thought of sitting around all afternoon in the rain under our little shelter didn't really appeal. So we're just leaving the town of Bonn, where Beethoven was born. What else is it famous for, Mike? It used to be the capital of Germany. So far this morning, I don't know if we've only done about 5Ks, but there's been a nice cycle path out of Bonn, heading to Cologne. So it's supposed to get quite industrial and not very nice through here. Apparently the roads aren't that great either. So we'll see what happens, see how it goes. No pretty castles today, but at least we've got the river and it's starting to get wider. Ah, look at that beautiful sight in front of us. I think this is what they mean by industrial. There's a river, it's pretty. The Eurovelo 15 goes straight along that main road, but we're following the Cicerone guide. Apparently it's a nicer route along the river. We'll find out. So this is a lot nicer than that horrible main road. I, I'm not even sure why Eurovelo 15 is taking you down the main road when there's this option. So there's a website called Crazy Guy on a Bike where cycle tourists post their daily blogs. Journals, they call them. Really interesting reading other people's blogs, see where they're going, see where a good route is. And people are really helpful too if you ask some questions. Yeah, if, if you're interested in doing something like this, check that website out. I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, we're following the Cicerone guide. We had to download it, 12 pounds, I think. And, and you can put the tracks, the GPX tracks into your Garmin. So that's what Mike's following. There's the city of Cologne up ahead. Look at the huge cathedral. That's where we're heading. It's like a matching bridge way over the other side. Check out these buildings. Freaky. If you look at the buildings, they look like cranes leading out to the river. See the gantry out there? Got the matching bridge. leaving the town of Cologne. I don't know if I ever mentioned we were in the town of Cologne and now we're just heading towards Dusseldorf. We'll probably find somewhere to camp along the way hopefully. Pretty neat little cable car going across the river. What a neat way to get to the other side.
on the outskirts of Cologne on this nice little section. Peace, quiet, and a camping ground. Was that for camper vans? Look at that little Volvo. For a Friday afternoon in an industrial area, it's pretty quiet. So I'm just wondering if they all knocked off at lunchtime. Gone to the pub, like we used to do. So just going past the big Ford plant right now. It's very quiet. Mike reckons it's because they've got robots putting everything together in there. It, it wasn't too dramatic getting out of Cologne, so that's good. Apparently the next stretch from Dusseldorf through to Joeysburg. It's supposed to be the, the dodgy bit, but we'll see how we go. It'll be a weekend. Hopefully it won't be too much traffic. We've done 60 k's today. Probably done it about 70 by the time we find a camp. So we're on the ferry, going to the other side. And now we're on the other side of the river and we're heading towards Dusseldorf. It's about 15 k's to Dusseldorf. Not sure if we'll make it there today. If we find camping, we'll stop. I don't think there is much though. If we find a hotel, we may stop. There's a hotel here. Hotel there, Mike. This ends our trip up the Rhine. In the next and final episode, we divert to Holland and the Dutch coast and make our way back to Bournemouth in the UK. If you'd like to watch all of our vlog episodes, I'll put a link to a playlist down below. Thanks for watching.